We're just waiting for the entrance of Lloyd Paul. He goes by LL Paul on YouTube. I think he's here. He just entered the back door. Hello? Anybody here? Yes, Mr. Paul. Sit on that chair and I'm going to do an interview. Right, right here? And this, the spot? Oh, <laughs> oh, I see myself. Wow, that's cool there. How do you do that there, Charles? Yeah? How you doing, Charles? It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. Don't be afraid to speak up. I ain't afraid, afraid to speak up. <laughs> Anyways, I'll do the talking. This is my interview anyway. I came in through the back door. Did you hear me coming? You should have. I got my tin toes on. My kicks. <laughs> Oh, so he asked me in, oh, hobbies? What kind of hobbies? I, hats are hobbies. See, I have many hats. Oh, feathers frigged up, man. There we go. See, told you so, man. I know what I'm talking about. And then I can put it on like this. And then this down the back like a real deadly guy. See? Oh, yes! I gotta show you something else. Oh. <sighs> this is Lloyd Paul, the number two. <sighs> I ate two bologna sandwiches. You can see the little gut there. And you know what? That's my favorite hobby is eating bologna. I love bologna. Love it. You know what? If you have a bologna sandwich every day, you'll have health for the rest of your stay. <laughs> That's Micmac Caviar, I'll tell you. No, Micmac Caviar is craft dinner. <laughs> Did you know that? Micmac caviar is craft dinner? Almost whacked myself with a gold watch right in my eye. I went like this. Oh, that close. So how's everybody? I just want to say, I want to say hi to Lewis. I want to say, uh, how you doing? Little the wolf, little Mr. Wolf, this cabin. Not in the cabin, she's driving a taxi. She's not stuck in a cabin, right? Like I would tell you. I would be like, oh, come save you out of that cabin. But she's driving a cabin. Now I'm just playing with y'all. Anyways, I'm just doing a dry story. It's so dry, I need a drink of water. And this is my buddy over here. Invited me over. Name is, uh... Uh... I forget his name. Charles. Charles... Manson invited me to his prison cell to do a video. And Charles Manson, you know he's going to have the nicest cell. And he does. It's a nice cell, I'll tell you. I've never been in prison in years. But, you know, Charles Manson invited me to his cell. You know he gets treated A1. Ugh. I think he's still alive. He's not here because he knew Lordy Paul's a little on the crazy side, so he didn't want to be in the shot. Oh my goodness, I see myself. I'm back in my. I'm backstabbing myself.
<laughs> ah, jumping so me oh me oh my. Thanks for having me over there, Charles Manson. And you're a good man. No, you well, I shouldn't go that far because I'll have a lot of haters on me. <laughs> Calling Charles Manson a good man. I mean, he's a good man to let me in his fancy cell. Check it out. He's like he's got like fancy coffee table in here. He's got the bestest of the bestest. And I'm struggling on ration. I don't even get what Charles Manson gets. That's not even cool. But anywho, this is how you make a bologna sandwich. You make sure you cut it Ooh. this thick, that thick, and you go, and there's your slab. You put it on the bread without trying to squish the bread because that bologna is really, really thick. And it's dangerous to just slap it down there because you'll just mess everything up. Then you get a chunk of cheese. Take the plastic off. Slap that cheese on top of that bologna. And then you put the helmets on it like this. And you got yourself the perfect Micmac sandwich. Bologna bologna. You can't go wrong. Take care. This is L.L. Paul coming at you from Charles Mantis Jail Cell. Take care. I love you all. Ah, yes. <laughs>